Hey there everyone, it's B Team Kiwi back here again with another Forza Horizon 4 Forza Thon. So, just getting straight into it for this week, we need to own and drive the 1993 McLaren F1. Not sure why it's 1993. I'm pretty sure it was 1994. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, 93, and I think um, it came out on the 94. Right at the very end of '93, but it was called the '94. Yeah. Um, we need to win two road circuit events, so circuit. We need to earn 15 ultimate speed skills, and then we need to win one street scene event at the marathon. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna be forced into doing that whole one. Great, because it's very specific, and you can't do. A custom route. So this is going to be a bit of a long one. Right. Uh, our photo challenge is just any car with two other driver tires in it at the festival in front of the festival main stage. So there it is there in that picture. The main stage looks like that. And it's at a specific point. And you can see that main um, Forza hub in the background. The white building as well underneath it. Which is where you can go into to customize your cars. So that gives you another hint as to whereabouts it is. Um, showcase your Rex. This one again. The um, the one against Jet. I think we had that last time. Oh, the standard PR events, the super jump, speed trap, speed zone. No new car this time, but this is a nice find here. And we don't have a weekly rival, so that's different. Our rewards, anything new? The Porsche 911, 1990, uh, that's probably, that's one of those special, special ones, I think. Um, either that, either that one's new or it's one of the custom ones that we've had before. Do we have anything new here? That one's new, the BMW 850 CSI, I'm pretty sure. I think that HSV GTS isn't new. Just checking out to see if we have any new cars. Mm, I'm not sure if that Rover's new. Is a new exclusive car, an AMG Hammer Coupe. Ugh, looks crap. All right, so we want our McLaren. Welcome back, Braden. Our BMW powered McLaren. Tartan skirt. And this one seems pretty. Pretty lackluster this week's. That's not bad, that car. Yeah. Pretty lackluster. Let's have a look in our shop. And my daily is just two stars or better in his speed trap, so we'll definitely get that. Not bad. That's a very nice car. It's very good for the S2 class if you do it up. Alright, let's get to it. I'm already in a McLaren. Ah, that was the spider. It was the co it's the coupe that's really good, but I'm pretty sure the spider will be pretty much identical. Not the greatest of handling for an S2 class car. But she'll do. Got about the same acceleration rating as my bloody car I was just in.
Okay, no difference, so I can put that to max. Let's see if this changes anything. Alright. That's gone slightly better. Was as good as we're gonna get it. Yeah, okay. 75 it is. Now, if that much power on the rear, let's see if maybe dropping this will have an effect. No, oh, okay, cool. Back to full. Alright. See if there's any cool designs for it. Now there were definitely some racing versions of this car. Yeah, I think that's what it looked like. Oh, that was the pace car at least, but... I definitely know there was a black one that they used in the GT3 or the McLaren, uh, the um, LMP class stuff, or the GT3 class for the Le Mans. And then they had the F1 long tail. Let's do it. Let's get the show on the road. So I needed two circuit wins, didn't I? Screaming BMW V12, lined with gold leaf in the engine bay to help with the heat. <laughs> All right, um, I will double check what I actually need. Two road circuit events. Okay. Oh, and another daily just popped up. Combine drift and Pascal to get three show off. Okay. Jesus, it's that time of the night already. Cool. There's our speed zone. Must be trapped. There's our speed zone. I haven't. Sp oh, and there's our danger sign. Nice and simple. at the Broadway but I had a custom one
Oh. Oh, 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 streamer mode. I need to put streamer mode on. <laughs> I don't want to get this pinged. Thought I'd forgotten to do something. I should have a um a little thing before when you start it. Like just a little button you click while it loads up to put into streamer mode. Like in the loading screen, you can just press like Y to activate streamer mode or something. That'd be sick. One more, and then we're on to the ultimate speed skills. And we'll just run up and down the, um, the motorway, or the highway. Okay, cool. I'm on the road there. Yeah, she's not the best with handling. Even though she does make downforce with her body work. I think I might, I sh probably, what was that, okay, I probably need to, um, nice, probably need to increase the downforce on the front. Okay, we're in the zone for ultimate speeds. That car just kind of creeped out of nowhere. have a look to see if I can do anything about that downforce on the front. Oh, it's already maxed. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Maybe if I lower the rear downforce a bit. Might make the back rear end kick out a little bit more. Okay, we're up to the final one. Marathon. That poor engine nearly blew up. Ah, uh, the marathon, the marathon. Where is the marathon? It's down here somewhere, isn't it? No, that's Col the Colossus. Road Racing Series, there's a Goliath. The Marathon. Yucky. Oh well. It has to be done. Unless I can do a creator route on it. In which case I'll make it so I can do the um, show off skills as well. No. Uh, no. <laughs> oh well. Maybe I should have her at an S1 class for this, but... I can't remember if I said I need to win it or not. See, I don't understand how that car went off. That car should have been fine with its downforce. It's got Le Mans thick downforce. Oh! Wasn't expecting that. It's really getting me. And all these bloody other cars in the way. I need a restart. I'm just making too many mistakes. You're just so loose in the rear. And it'll go even worse when I if I lowered it. So I probably shouldn't. Or 
also doesn't help getting stuck behind AI that ruined my lines. Like that, pushing me out even. Like, fuck off, back off. Because I've got nowhere to go. I just, I don't like how they just have a generic racing line. It's not at all in tune for the car's um, performance. It was telling me I should have been able to take that fine, that corner, but I was obviously clearly going too fast. This car to handle. Ah, fuck off! It's pushing me into that bloody thing again. I oh, has shit breaking too. Like, what the fuck? I braked even before it told me I needed to start braking. And the car just doesn't like it. I should probably put rewind on. I never, ever use rewind when I'm gonna need it. I hate these long ass races for this very reason. And these cars that aren't designed for this stuff.
don't want to go too far in the inside of that, otherwise I'll miss. Ah! It didn't even tell me I was going too fast for that corner again. I could have done the show off skill there, but I don't want to risk it, not with this car being as bad as it is. It's so twitchy. Uh oh. This car's gonna go airborne here. It's only gonna back off. Okay, there we go. There's the crest that goes major airborne. And there as well.
Uh oh. Man, that car's a handful to handle. Surely it wouldn't be that bad in real life. Like I know it's light, but with all the aero stuff, it's got its bodywork aero. It's got underfloor aero. I've got this front splitter, the um, the canids, and the wing. Surely, it would handle a lot better, considering it had good enough handling to dominate in the bloody GT2 or GT3 class, whatever class it raced in. Alright, and that's our weekly done. Oops, I don't know why I went to settings. I did click to the side. Alright, I've got to do my show-off skills. We're quite pretty close to the Horizon Festival site, so let's go there. Take a photo of our McLaren. And there it is right in front of us. Hopefully I can get behind these cars to take a photo. Please, please, please. Wow, my car is clearly there. Yes. And there we go, there's a photo op done. Lovely. Alright, let's get these shaft skills. We'll go to our white horse trail. I'll change car to the Ferrari when I do it. Doesn't matter what car are you, uh, what ver version. It's just changed what type it is. Ferrari. I don't know what I was doing. Alright. Drift and pass. So I can just, as soon as I get it popping, I can hit restart. Because that will reset the timer for it. Charles Leclerc. Wish there was a Vettel version. Go Shaf.
Surely I got it, and it, but it just didn't display it. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we get it for this last one. Because we only need the three show off skills. And these cars are so slow. I have to back off. There we go. And we're in the right car for the um, PR events too. And then we'll do the showcase remix last. And we're right next to one. That was right next to the White Horse Trail event that I was doing. Personal versus 425 or 426. Might as well say 426. Um, start from there. And it's dry weather too, so that's great. I think I haven't taken a photo of that car. That was weird. Alright, um, our speed zone was around here too, wasn't it? There we go, it's off-road, so... This car might be able to do it. But yeah, I'm pr probably better off doing it in the Hoonigan. So, I'll get this jump out of the way. Because this car is really Fuck! <laughs> Neo. What did I just say? It sounded like I said Neo. personal best so I was meant to land somewhere around here but I went way off in a completely different bloody direction <laughs> um I'm trying to think what the best way to attempt this so that's by that great ridge jump so I'm better off coming from this direction Uh, 
fast travel. So it's starting point. What did I do? I did... Actually, I might know this one. I did a 164. But I need to be 152 for the seasonal. Oh, you fucking asshole. Nearly my personal best. And I did take it quite easily. Around there didn't go all out. I was a bit conservative because I didn't, it was my first full attempt. Um, that's all our PR events done. So I believe it's just a showcase event now. Yeah, showcase arena. Yep. But no rivals, that's weird. There's normally always arrivals. Hmm. So, upon completing this, that will finish up the um this week's Forzathon video. shouldn't be too hard. It's considering it's four wheel drive. Or all wheel drive, should I say. I think they've done a, with the last update for the game, they've um, patched the audio for that. So you can actually hear the car. So you, then we know when to bloody shift gears.
I'm doing way better than my last time doing this and that. Actually I think the last one was this, but it was in the um the taxi. And it handled like dirt with the bloody four rotor racing rotary. Yeah, I'm way ahead. <laughs> Smashed it. Five seconds faster. Quaint. Village rush. Alrighty, run. That's going to conclude this week's Forza Thon stream. So, if you guys enjoyed that, and um, like, and it fa you found it helpful, I almost got a bit tongue-tied. Then forgot what I was saying. Um, then you guys know what to do of hitting that follow button and subscribing if you're on YouTube, because I will be exporting this to my YouTube channel for those of you who are watching it on my Twitch. If you're interested in checking out my YouTube channel because I upload other stuff to there, then you can follow the little link underneath my live stream panel. And likewise, if you are on my YouTube channel and you'd like to find out where I do my live streaming here on Twitch, you can follow the little link, Twitch link on my channel banner. Um, as usual, drop a comment on stuff you'd like to see me do next or things you think I could do better with, or just a pop in and say hey. And I hope everyone's having a great night or a great day wherever in the world you are, and everyone's staying safe and healthy with this global pandemic still running rampant. And um, yeah, take care of each other, everyone. And make sure you tell your family members you love them. All that jazz. You never know uh, when you'll last see them. Peace out. Have a great one. Instantaneous death. <laughs> <laughs>